Good afternoon. My name is uh, Greg Davies. I'm the Director of Public Utilities for the City of Columbus. And appreciate everybody coming here to uh, celebrate, really, the uh, culmination of something that was began back in that photo on the far left with the mayor, I think in April of 2012. And Friday, last Friday, uh, the tunnel boring machine punched through right out here. And as soon as we're done here, we can go look. And you can take a tour down if you wish and film it or look at it and do whatever you want. But uh, it's a very exciting day. This is a $371 million tunnel, 20 stories deep, four and a half miles long. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit behind schedule, but I think if you look down in that tunnel and have been in the tunnel before and seen videos, you understand the complexity of it all. And uh, just a great team effort. I want to just thank a few people. Uh, Patrick Kenny is here from Kenny Construction, a partner in doing great work, and Bob Rottenberg, who was his man on the, on the ground here. Uh, we've got Tom Merritt from HR Gray, Paul Smith from Black and & Beach, and uh, I want to give a special thanks to all the staff from Sewers & Drains, uh, Dax Blake, the sewer administrator, uh, Greg Fedner, uh, Jason Sanson, just a whole host of people that have worked on this, and it's really been a team effort. Um, when this is completed and up and running, hopefully a year, year and a half, it will all but eliminate combined sewer overflows in the city. We did work at the treatment plants a few years back that's now complete. And that combined with this tunnel will really uh, all but eliminate those overflows. On top of that, uh, Mayor Coleman announced Blueprint Columbus uh, when I shortly after I became director. And I'm proud to say uh, next week we're going to submit that plan to the Ohio EPA and hopefully get approval and then begin to address our uh, sanitary sewer overflows. And I'd like to thank the EPA. They've been very helpful on this project, loaning us money, working through our issues. And also Mr. Dorian, who uh, last year refinanced some sewer bonds, which saved us uh, $30 million in interest payments, which were obviously applied to this project and really helped us out. Uh, as I said, after uh, we're done speaking, we'll go ahead and take a tour for anyone's interested and not too afraid of heights and getting in a cage and getting dropped 20 stories. But with that, I'll turn it over to, uh, to Mayor Michael Coleman. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Director Davies, and uh, this is a big project, $371 million, the largest capital project in the history of the city of Columbus. This is the biggest tunnel I've ever been in, ever seen, one of the largest pieces of equipment that bores through a tunnel. It has a name. What's the name of that thing? Marsha. Marsha. Well, Marsha has made a difference in Columbus. Because Marsha is bored through about four and a half miles through underneath downtown, underneath the river, and here we are today. We started out over at Jackson Pike a while back, and here we are today. And not only is the largest project we've ever had in our city, largest capital project this effort when it's completed will make the Soda River cleaner and when you make the Soda River cleaner it makes our city better better quality water a cleaner Soda means a better downtown and a better city as well so we still have work to do and that work is to take out the electric there's a, 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 a some tracks a railroad so I've always wanted uh, a railroad in the city of Columbus. And we have it. I've wanted light rail in the city of Columbus for a long time. Well, we have it. But the problem is 20 stories down. And we're going to have to remove it in order to utilize uh, this in the right way. So we have to connect up the existing uh, sewer with the Oris Tunnel and uh, build a new pump station at Jackson Pike Treatment. Uh, plant. Uh, and I want to thank everybody that's worked on this because, man, this is a big project. A lot of good people helped make this project happen in the city of Columbus. Made our city better, our water better, our environment better, and, uh, and, and I'm very, very proud of the work that you have, you have done and done for on behalf of our citizens. So I want to bring uh, forward Zach Klein. Uh, he looks like a lumberjack today. Yeah, with a suit on. Yeah, with a suit on. <laughs> Come on up here, Zach. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor Coleman. <laughs> well, look, on, on behalf, what's that? 
What's wrong? I, I said size 14 boots. They had, to, they had to find those over at Lowe's and bring, bring them down here. <laughs> special, special order. Uh, look, on behalf of Columbus City Council, Zach Klein, I chair the Public Utilities Committee. Uh, just to build on what Mayor Coleman said, this is a win for our downtown and our Columbus community generally. Uh, a win for our environment and the Scioto River. It's something that I'm particularly proud of and all of the efforts that the Department of Utilities is making in the environmental arena. And I know Erin uh, Miller, our, uh, the mayor's in the city's environmental steward, uh, the work that she's doing uh, to make our environment cleaner here in the city of Columbus. And this project is a testament to that. And, and when you really think about it, drilling a tunnel 20 stories below the earth, you know, bound, you know, for something to happen. And uh, I think that what this team has done and what these contractors have done and what the employees of the city of Columbus and partnership have done to get this project completed is a uh, really a testament to the hard work and the creativity and the knowledge and dedication that they have done to drill a four mile long tunnel below the city of Columbus. That's just really impressive. And perhaps that's just the nerd in me that gets excited about the science part of this, but that, that's just really impressive. So congratulations to y'all. And I'd like to have my colleague who chaired utilities when this project started uh, four years ago, uh, Councilwoman, uh, Council Member Eileen Paley. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks a lot, Director, for the picture. You can see a little difference from that day to this day, <laughs> um, but I'm glad to be here. I, you know, I had some talking points, but the mayor and Zach have already gone through those. So I just want to say, um, from that day to this day, is is all the hard work of everybody that's been out here, and I just want to say about Mayor Coleman, it's because he thinks outside of the box, like this to save our environment as well as save our city and our water. Um, you know, this was um, the great people that he hired to think about things besides, you know, the normal way that we used to clean water to make things better. So we think about how much money we spent on this tunnel, which is a lot, I agree. But think about how much money we're gonna save from this tunnel, which is even more. So I wanna thank Mayor Coleman and everyone from DPU as well as the directors and Dax and all of the workers out there that made this happen and um, it's a great day in Columbus as usual. Thank you. You know, there's, there's a railroad that's <laughs> down there. I want us all to go down and see the light rail system in Columbus. We gotta take a take a part. <laughs> Okay, now wait a minute. Let me out. <laughs>